when you think about Dragon Ball mobile games, you probably think of Dragon Ball Legends, Dragon Ball Dokkan Bat. But me personally, I think of that one random knockoff Dragon Ball ad. But I'm not here to talk about those games. I'm here to talk about why they suck. Both of them. There are a bunch of major flaws with these games. Whether that be the summoning Let's system, the PvP or meta teams, and, well, they're pretty much put in one, if, if I'm being brutally honest. You blow everywhere. Frieza, what are you doing? Now, Dragon Ball Legends. I used to play this game basically all the time. But I stopped playing ever since UG4 came out. Which, if you didn't know, is, is probably the most broken unit in the game. But I don't know. I, Ultra Trailers came out, and I don't know if he's better. Since that's what they do all the time. They power creep everything. One major flaw of Dragon Ball Legends is the fact that, what I just said, power creep. Every time a new unit comes out, it's always better than the last. It doesn't matter what team you have. If you have a Universal Saga team, bro, you're cooked. Having a team like that in the big 2024, you're not making it past Diamond Rank, I'll tell you that. Now, Dragon Ball Legends does have, you know, its upsides. It's, it's very fun to play, and I'm pretty sure they're getting rid of Perfect Vanishes, which is... Praise the Lord! God, finally! Perfect vanishes genuinely make me mad. A fact. In an oiled up twerk contest, Kefla would destroy Android 18, and you're on crack if you think otherwise. Now, moving on to Dokkan Battle. Dokkan Battle still falls under the same presence that Legends does, but except it came out first. That is Power Creep. Power Creep is just always in every game, of, obviously. Like, every game in the world that's competitive or has characters or whatever it's gonna have power creep just know that some characters will always be better than others some teams will always be better than others and that's just how it's gonna be you know the problem with dokkan is that if you have let's say you you, you have tech ui if you only have one copy yeah just just i'll pray i'll pray that he dodges for me because that's the problem if a dodge unit comes out if the new dokkan fest or whatever if the new unit is a dodge unit you need multiple copies of them. Because seven times out of ten, they're not going to dodge. Their kit won't be, you know, effective enough to be dodging. You have to give them the hidden potential dodges and stuff and whatnot. Which is w really what makes me just hate the game. But I still play because I love the animations. Another thing about Dokkan that's pretty pretty sad is that jp which is the japan version has all the content has all the actually hardest bosses in the game well global we still have nothing we still only have super gachita and super janamba and that's it like and we're starting to get the heroin battles now which is good i guess but we still don't have go frieza we still don't have bulma it, it still kind of sucks out here and we still haven't gotten AGL Jiren, even though he's not good, which I'm still going to summon on him. It's just, it just sucks that even if we're synced, we still don't get the events that JP has. It's It still sucks. Another thing that everyone knows, heroes, more hero units are coming out next month in November, I think. I don't remember, but I know they're coming out soon. And just like the rest, they're going to get power crept and stop being good after the month they came out. Which sucks, because I really like the hero units. They look really cool, in my opinion. Another thing, they got to change up World Tournament. Do like a rework of, of the World Tournament, because it's, it's, it's boring. It really is boring. Like, it, I, I mean, it's easy for me to get top 10 in the locals, because... I don't know, because my locals are just easy to get top 10 of. But, like, it's it just gets repetitive, man. It's just... I get what they were going for for the tournament, but, like, it, it, it's boring, you know? I mean, if you guys enjoy it, that's good with you. I, I don't really care. But it, it, they need to do something else with the World Tournament. It's it's a cool, like, game mode, and I think they should do more with it. But one good thing I can say about both of these games is the content creators. My, I, I love the content creators that play these, these games. And then you got The Truth, Nano, Daddy Sauce... You also got and and the Kuba. Alright, seconds working. 
Legends Limited. Yeah! He's he's pretty cool. You know, Dokkan World. I also made this video a day before Majin Vegeta was just announced. So that's cool. In the end, I just wanted to say that these games have problems, obviously. They share the same problems, exactly. So, in theory, they both suck. But they still are, you know, Dragon Ball games in the end with good animations and stuff like that. And... Black, huh? This person you're referring to looks like me? Low-class warriors bear some resemblance, but this could be a problem. You stupid nigga!